Please welcome Senator Nina Turner. And it is because of citizen leaders like you. And Mr. President, I was so glad that you called folks citizen leaders, because that's a beautiful thing. And citizen leaders have changed this world each and every time change comes from the grassroots, not from the grass tops, from people who are willing to put some sweat equity on that thing. It is the voices of everyday people like the people in this room change this world. For Mother Jones, it was about standing up for coal miners. It was about standing up for children in this country. Mother Jones once said that she would pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living, and that is how I roll it all times. Mother Jones or Fannie Lou Hamer, who did believe that access to the ballot box was one of the greatest equalizers and she did not let her conditions of that time stop her from asserting her authority, her everyday person authority. And so here we are in the footsteps of everyday leaders like Mother Jones, everyday leaders like Fannie Lou Hamer, everyday leaders. I often say that when folks put a little extra on their ordinary, extraordinary things do happen. And whenever you doubt our abilities to make a difference in this world, I want you to draw on those people. You know, titles are good. They're very good. They get you in the room. They get your phone calls returned. But titles alone cannot sustain us. Titles are good, but purpose is better. And we need more people who are willing to live their purpose. And sometimes in living that purpose, you got to ruffle some feathers. You got to make some folks uncomfortable. And here at American Promise, that is exactly what we are going to do as citizens leaders. We're going to make folks uncomfortable. The 28th Amendment to the Constitution is important to all of the things that our neighbors and our family members love and hold dear. If we are willing to make those connections, we can and we must do this, not just for ourselves, but for generations yet unborn are depending on us to be uncomfortable, to put ourselves on the front line. Your voice should mean just as much as any millionaire or billionaire or corporation in the United States of America because it is the diversity of ideas and experiences that create the great nation that we are today. We are what we are today, not because everything happened automatically or happened overnight. We are what we are today because citizen, citizen leaders got into this fight and there is a call for the citizen leader of the 21st century to step up 